I say I'm going down to a lot of places. And mm-hmm. like, Don't you mean up? And it's like, no, when I say down, I mean, I'm like going down. Downtown. Yeah, I'm going, uh-huh. I'm going down. Uh-huh. It's going down on the weekend. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Nancy Drew. (laughs) And this here is Frank. As you can tell, me and him are getting ready for the summer. It was 84 degrees today. I know. Now where we live, that's pretty warm for April. I think for anybody it's warm, isn't it? I don't know, like Southern California? Well, yeah, that's, yeah. Mexico? No, I don't mean that they've never experienced it, but I mean it's warm. It's it's a recognized. It's warm. We're not wearing a tire that is far into eighty four degrees. Right. Yeah. So we were out today picking up chicks. You were? No. Oh, okay. Um, we were just hanging, just with the boys. We we're out on the back patio. Yeah. I was drinking a nice tea. Frank said he was drinking iced tea, but I don't know, really know what Long was inside. Long Island, maybe. Yeah, I think Long there was Island. a little <laughs> Long Island guy. A little something extra to it. But yeah, so it's been beautiful today. It's got me in good spirits. Something yeah. about good weather just gets me in a good mood. I am allergic. Yeah, a lot of pollen. Yeah, pollen. <laughs> I'm allergic. Pollen's high. So and all, and I'm in air conditioning. So I I'm dressed differently than <laughs> what you would expect. Yeah, it's it's strange, you know. Um, these these changing months. Yeah. Because this morning, you are right on the yes. on the nail on the head of the attire. Right. But then in the afternoon, had you been out all day, right? you would have been sweating. We also have a very shady house. Uh, outside? Um, or inside? Inside. I, I, well, I mean, it's a, it's uh, our house always feels cool. Yeah. I think our house was made wrong. It's not facing. Yeah. You know, we, we live feng in shui. a- Feng shui. We live in a house. But um, I took an- <laughs> We live in a society. I took an architecture we class. And like- True, like self-built. Not when you build, build like a whole street. Oh, we're gonna build all these houses and then sell Development them. Development like, or something. When you have a house built mm-hmm. since the beginning of time, one of the things you would take into account is the sunlight. Yeah. And, and so you position windows. You position the entire house. The sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. It does. That's a, that's a stone cold fact. Unless does it do that for everybody? It does. Oh, okay. live in a globe. <laughs> um. Because, yeah, it's actually, like, the sun's not setting or rising. It's the globe spinning. Okay. So, how would it it'd have to I don't know. spin and then spin backwards? You know, I don't like when people say, like, meet me on the northwest corner. Who says that? Uh, people who know directions. Where? In, like, the Sahara? No. Like, Where would you be using a compass? You don't need a compass. Like, like people do it. Like, I remember my, my friend's dad used to do it. I'm not, and he was just a regular, he was an accountant. Well, you should, like, maybe, like, I mean, how big? I can get it, like, oh, come down south to no, Philly. No, people say or that. I'm people give directions of, like that. I'm in the north of Jersey, but. No, they give directions like that. Head north? Yeah, and all that. Like, I use landmarks, but I think landmarks are, like, the picture book. Some people don't have pictures in their books. Yeah, it takes them a while to even figure out the northbound, southbound. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm, I'm coming northbound on I-95. I'm, like, I have I to think in my head, like. Okay, well, I'm north from Center City. I know. So that means northbound. Okay, and then, but yeah, and also down and up. <laughs> <laughs> you get down and up mixed up. Do you have vertigo? <laughs> and on my sneakers, I have Who, it's left, re- and, left right? and right now. But the down and up, like you um, mean you're going down the shore. Yeah, down the shore and up the mountains. But um, Avalon is in Florida, and uh, she just went to Georgia. And I kept saying, "Oh, you went down to Georgia because." living in Pennsylvania, Georgia is down. She was like, no, I went up to Georgia. That's semantics. Because I say that, I say I'm going down to a lot of places. And mm-hmm. Don't you mean up? And it's like, no, when I say down, I mean, I'm like going down. Downtown. Yeah, I'm going, uh-huh. I'm going down. Uh-huh. It's going down on the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, but that's landmarks for you. <laughs> yeah, why? Why? Why would you ignore landmarks and instead use, like you said, a compass? I think we should bring compasses back. Um, why? I don't know. I've never got to use one literally, like literally. I I've never, played with one, you know. I, of but, course. Yeah. I mean, you, now you, I'm sure everyone has. I'm not. I'm sure. I'm, I'm going to say 99 percent of you have an app on your phone that you don't even know you have. I didn't know. That's a compass app. Right. Um, I've never had to like actually look at a compass and yeah. say. 
Did wait? Did you ever like back when there was no navigation? <laughs> well, no, because there's maps. Oh, I see. There's I thought maps. you were saying like covered wagon. Yeah. You meant before there was any maps or anything. Maybe that's why Tangier. people used to say. Um, I've <laughs> no, I've, I've I personally have never used a compass to, um, get around Philadelphia. But what are you saying? I'm saying like in a park. I'm saying so back when you when you were a kid. We're talking 70s. We're I didn't talking, go. F- I didn't go very far. Well, so that's what I'm asking. Okay. We're talking 70s. We're talking 80s. You're taking a trip to California. Yeah. You stop in Montana. You're looking at a map. Yeah, Do map you just pop out there? a compass and say, okay, well, we know we generally have to go that way. First we're, of we're all, heading west. First of all, cars used to have compasses oh. in the dashboard. So, okay. But... Um, if we we did have maps, <laughs> yeah, but but well, the map um, would just, it, oh, like it would say you you, you would what you're saying like go north on on um, three hundred two. If you were yeah, if you were in like Nevada and it's just like well, the road signs say it too. Yeah, but wouldn't it be helpful? I'm telling like you, if you're going to Florida and it's just like I'm telling you, people used go to south. know. People used to know. Uh, Whenever anybody would talk about directions, like now that you're saying that, they would say, um. North, south, east, west, northwest. Uh, you know, hey, northwest. <laughs> the little kid. You can't, yeah. Kanye's the, child. That was like named after the the compass thing. The you child? You can't let the compass thing be like, oh yeah, northwest. When you hear northwest, you got to be like, oh, northwest. Like you, we've gone full circle and now the compass direction is reminding you of the child. Mm. Where the child should be reminding you of the of compass course. direction. Or not at all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway anywho they have two holy named children saint and psalm saint and psalm saint and psalm saint and psalm <laughs> um saint and son yeah if you had to name your child a biblical name but it's can't not a name not like, a name like saint or psalm mm-hmm. what would you do i would name my child ark oh that's a good one because you would think which which ark are you thinking of the Ark of the Covenant? I was thinking of Noah's. Oh. <laughs> what would I name my kid? So not a real name, but it needs to be biblical. Yeah. Um, Sinai. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds like the poison. <laughs> yeah, cyanide? Yeah. Okay. Um, This is just a lot of stress I'm being put Mana. under. Mana. Genesis. <laughs> Genesis. Yeah. Call him Jen. <laughs> Jen. Jen. Yeah, I don't like the name Jen. How about... um? Name them Genesis. Genesis Z. How about, be, 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 be. I don't know. I think you took all the good ones. Uh, okay. Proverbs. <laughs> Call them pro. Oh, like how the child psalm. Um, yeah. No. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> all right, guys. Enough jibber jabber. It's time to dance. It's time to dance. I'm not putting music on top of this, so it's just going to look real awkward. <laughs> Walk through. It's walk through Thursday. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. All right, guys. It is walk through Thursday. You know what we do on Thursdays here at Croak and Crow. We dive into the Bible. We open the Bible up. It's like when you spin a globe. Dive is too deep, isn't it? A deep dive. <laughs> We're doing a deep dive on the Bible. Then the Bible. It's like a globe where you spin it, and whatever you point at, you have to go to that destination. We do that with the Bible, and we flip through the pages, pick a verse, and we walk through it together, line by line, word by word. Yeah. Walk what's, through it what's because the, um, the sound of a, a letter. It's um. I don't know. How, or syllable, syllable by syllable. Oh yeah, like. Like by ball. Remember, did you learn like that, or did you learn by clapping? Clapping. Oh. By ball. We learned by this, and and it's very. By. It's not by, easy. By. I feel like it's hard. So you have it to is hard. Make your chin. You have to be more exaggerated. By ball. When I was little, we did the syllables, and they so they would say, you know, like um, Constantinople, and it's supposed to be every time your chin hit your hand, that was a syllable. Constantinople. Yeah, it's hard, right? Constantinople. All right, so um, are we ready? Yeah, we're ready to Spaghetti. jump into um a Bible, a Bible verse. verse, and we're gonna walk through it. And it's it, it's a prayer. It's the prayer, and this is the um 
new international version and this one's the they're both the new international version this is the um this is the king james version and the new international version oh um, man we have the lord's prayer the og jesus how should we pray oh i'll tell you you've heard it You've heard people say it. You've heard kids say it. You've heard songs about it. I made a million copies of the same thing. Yeah. Because I want... Okay. I didn't know if you wanted New International or if you wanted King James. So that's where the confusion well, obviously lies. Obviously, I want King James. Or do you have Get it? Get that New International out of my face. Oh, I like New International. So you hold New International and I'll hold All right, King James. So the Lord's Prayer is what people call it. I've... I always call it the Our Father. Yeah. It's, it's the first... The Our Father. It's how it starts. It's but I believe it's called the Lord's Prayer. And it's the prayer that you're extremely familiar with, but are you familiar with the fact that it is a Bible verse? It is a Bible verse from Luke 11. And Matthew, that I send you? It's in two Gospels where Jesus instructs people how to pray, and we still do it today. But as you can see, I've written on it in red because our religious leader, whose name is Francis. Wait. Do you have a Matthew King James Version? I just told you that. I know, but do you I have one up. for yourself? No, I screwed up. My problem is this. I know Neither I don't have Neither of another... these are the way I say it. That's why I was also looking, but someone rushed me. I was looking for just the Catholic um, prayer because that's probably the reason. That's probably how we know it mm. from learning it when we were little. So I'm not going to use any of these papers. Well, then how are you going to walk through it? I say this bad boy every All right. night. But you do see the red letters. Do not let us fall into temptation. And that, you want us to stay you want us to walk through it like that? No, I'm just saying that's the part. Oh, oh, oh right. Are you going to do traditional or are you going to do traditional? I'm doing traditional. What Pope Francis oh. told us to start doing. That's we'll we'll walk through that. We we're stumbling. We're it should stumb be stumble through Thursday. Hey. <laughs> we're tripping and falling through Thursday. And guess what's going to carry us through? The Holy Spirit. The Lord's prayer. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you the Our Father, and it goes like this. Our Father, who art, who art, wait, who? Ark, our, my son, Ark. Ark, wait, no, <laughs> Our Father, who art, art, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Now, I'm sure you've said that a million times. I know you've said it a million yeah. times. And maybe you haven't, but you've heard it a million times. But have you ever walked through it line by line? Have you ever thought, what am I saying? Right. It's a mantra at this point for yeah. a lot of people. Right. A great mantra. Keep on mantraing. But it's a mantra for a lot of people. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to break down what we're actually saying when we say the Our Father. Maybe I do want one oh. of these. <laughs> okay. What do you, I want the... Uh, what do you want? want what, do you want? Want, what do you want? I want Matthew. The bird is falling. Yeah, I want this one. Okay. Okay, back through the bank. Back through the bank. I didn't get a chance to print the one that we're super familiar with, number one. Number two... Um, we'll just talk about the Pope's, um, once we get to amendment it. when we get to it. Yes. Okay. All right. First, um, what are you looking at? Matthew? Yeah. I just like it cause it's laid out. All right. And what is, tell the people what, what it is. Matthew, what? Matthew six dash nine to 13. Okay. All right. So obviously background, we already got, they were asking Jesus, but how should we pray? And that, this is the whole thing he told us. So now we'll go line by line. Okay. Our father who our, who art in heaven, our father in heaven. Maybe I should just be reading New International <laughs> Version. <laughs> um, so yeah. Well, because so, you did get stuck on the word art. Yeah. Instead of just because once again, you know why? Because I was thinking about it instead of just mantraing it. You're right. So I get my head as our, our Father who art in heaven. All right, our Father who art in heaven. So our God who is in heaven. Yes. Uh, do we? Is there anything you want to add to that, or is that self-explanatory? Um. That's sort of just like the our who, Father. It's the um. You know, like when you when you call someone back in the day, and it's like, who are you trying to reach? And it's like, oh, I'm trying to reach God, who's in heaven. Like that's sort of like the the subject. Yeah, but but uh, you know, I'm a pronoun girl. Okay. So our O U R is your 
you you are putting yourself amongst all of your brothers and sisters, which sometimes, you know, we like that um, because it's not just you praying. We do like to have that one on one, my yeah. father. But this is our father. So you, by saying our father, you're talking as a part of a group of siblings. Mm, I like that. And what was the second thing we were we already have are in heaven? Who are in heaven or who is in heaven? You were like that self-explanatory. Yeah. Right. So, again, you're not talking to your birth father you or know, your stepfather. This is why I walk through things. Because, see, I never was really thinking about that. When you think of a prayer, you think of you praying. Mm-hmm. But from the beginning, it's saying our father. Right. Our father. And, and, and it's like we're all together. It's not right. my father. Grant me my strength above all other men. It's right. like our father. And even more... Um, so, you know, sweet, so, not sweet, even better that Jesus is the person who's instructing this, you know, so it's yeah. like, he's included yeah. all in this together. We bring that, we bring that song up too <laughs> well, much in this podcast. We'll have to do a spiritual HSM podcast. <laughs> okay. Hallowed be thy name. The holy name of um, God, which is a commandment. Mm-hmm. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. That's old English, but uh, you shouldn't swear on his name or be sacrilegious to his name. So I, I'm guessing that's, um, you know, name is real important, but also it's one of those things. It's it's a word that we could just probably spend all. We're going to actually run through this because to walk through it like we did with the 23rd Psalm, mm. we probably would just have taken a line a week because um, name is very important in the Bible. Yes. Um, what's his um leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name sake mm-hmm. so it's more than just his name is holy it's like his whole presence yeah hallowed, hallowed be, be thy, name. thy name your kingdom come or thy kingdom come his kingdom come so what does that mean um well i think you have to say that whole line together to okay, make it okay. make sense your, I'm going to read it in New International Version. We're walking through it, and I want you to understand it. Mm-hmm. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Right. That all goes together. Yes. So I'm going to say, your kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. If you, if you do it backwards, so mm. on earth as it is in heaven, you know, you were created in my image and likeness. So you're bringing earth and heaven together. Yes. That it's similar. It's not going to be, people are afraid to go to heaven, really, because they think like, I love it on earth. Yes. I don't want to just play a harp on a cloud. And it's like God made earth like heaven, like heaven, like earth. Like mm-hmm. it's going to, you're going to be okay. So if you go backwards, what was it? Um, on earth, If we're going backwards, it's on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done. Your kingdom come. Right. So, um, well, your will is going to be done. Well, yeah. And what's 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 God? Love. God's love. And so I think that's, you know, part of the will is it, like heaven is a place of love. And this is a prayer after all. So you're, a- right. you're asking and it's like your kingdom come, your will be done. Like have, have like, the love that's from heaven right. come and be on earth right. as well. And it's not your past, your, 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 um, your kingdom come, your pasture come. Or your place come or your cloud. Like people, you know, the classic artistry is clouds. It's your kingdom. Where's your crown? The Christian meme kingdom. The kingdom. So like this is this is saying like that line is a promise yeah. of generosity and, you know, abundance. So the kingdom is because it's his will is going to be on earth as it is in heaven yeah so that's comforting promising yeah, that's promising yeah it, and it, it makes a it brings it closer right it's not this separation right. of we're, we're, we're here alone right okay give us today our give us this, this day, day our, daily our daily bread, bread. right and anything to say about that one well um since it's such a famous prayer i've grown up with it on bread plates and on kitchen Mm. plaques, and on tea towels. And so taken very, very literally, it is, we will be fed, you won't starve. If I feed the birds of the air, of course I'm going to feed you. Um, 
so at the very least, that's what people, you know, praying that I'll have something to eat today, you know, that's classic. But I'm you're going to you. tell us. I'm tell you. You're going to tell us why it is the most important prayer that Jesus said to use. And it's not about. Okay. This is for a couple of things, guys. What I'm going to start with is just the sentence itself. If you read it, it's give us today our daily bread, which is implying that the daily bread is today. Today okay. is our daily dose of bread. Okay. Now. So it's like, but now I want you to remember a story. Okay. This is when Moses went into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. Oh, yeah. And they prayed and they asked for manna. Right. And what did God... I'm coming up with all this all on the spot, but I'm going somewhere with it. And he told them, he said, this bread will be here for you every day. Right. But don't take more than... Don't try to stuff your pockets for later. Don't try to stuff your pockets for later. Um, Yada, yada. And I think there is a correlation here okay i'm hearing a correlation yeah and so what does that mean it would definitely be a correlation because when jesus came and spoke he was always Mm -hmm. referring back to and so if our days are manna and you know they're they're heaven sent but i think that the idea of don't stuff your pockets and stuff is like the idea of that i you know you you never know what's your last day it's like basically yeah live every day yeah like and be grateful just like the manna it's like not like oh but what about tomorrow what about tomorrow right. it's like d- d- don't worry about tomorrow you know that really makes a lot of sense because when you know the reason people poke holes in the bible and they they question believers and then the believers question themselves is because if you take it so literally so you'll say if if you do say it's about food it's about starving yeah. to death people do starve to death yeah People are very hungry, even in a you know a first world country. But if you look at it like that, it's beyond. Yes, it's beyond. Um, it's beyond the beyond. Wonder bread. <laughs> and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, or forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Or, um, I have, I have Luke New International, which says. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. So what are yes. we got? So, Debtors, well, sinners, and trespassers. Yes. And, and I think this really just comes down to this um, idea of always trying to live a good life for yourself. And you're asking for forgiveness of all things. Mm-hmm. But forgive us our debts as, as wait, forgive, us trespass, we has, uh, forgive us our trespasses. As we have forgiven those who trespass. So it's due unto others. Yeah, no, it's due unto others. And and bigger than that, bigger than that is, mm. it's not saying, it, it's not even saying, um, forgive us our trespasses as you've forgiven our, tra- like as you've forgiven. It, it's saying, yeah, we were, I guess you were right, due unto others. It's, you go, that's why we always talk about not, not attacking other people no matter what in all this is when you're asking to be forgiven, it's have you forgiven? Like when you're, when you're asking to, to be loved by God. Have you loved? Right. And and so it's that idea of it's not just treat others how you want to be treated. It's treat others as you'd want, you know, God to, oh. to treat you. Like right, right. You forgive people's sins because you want your sins forgiven. Right. Um, so yeah, so I I like that. Another solid line. Anything else to add to that? Um, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Okay. And here we go. We're getting into the line. The, 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 the contested line. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Or no, that's mm-hmm. it, right? Yeah, that's right. Is the whole thing together? Yeah, deliver it looks like evil. it's a comma. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Or this says, but deliver us from the evil one. I Ooh. see that. Matthew, New International. That's kind of scary. Yeah. Um. Okay, so. I kind of like the evil one. The evil one. I don't like the evil one, <laughs> but I kind of like it as that because we yeah. were always talking about the devil in this podcast, right? Yeah. And when you just say evil, it's like you keeps it. But when you remember, I, I told you, even when you have these mental battles, I think it's helpful to externalize it, yeah, and say you're fighting against this, right. rather than you're fighting against yourself, right? So I kind of like that the evil one. Okay, but let's go. When I'm there, at, and lead us not into temptation, but Pope. 
Francis came out and he said, we're not going to say it that way anymore. Yeah. Because God never leads us into temptation. Right. So we're going to say, do not let us fall into temptation. Right. And I do believe that's what it originally right. meant, but it can be confused by the wording. The wording for people who don't do walk through Thursdays yes. and they just ramble it off, it it is misleading. Yes. Now, if we if the Pope never said that and we did this walk through Thursday, I would have said that it is not saying, please, God, stop leading me into temptation. It's saying the opposite. It's saying, lead us away from, yes. you know, there's temptation there and we will fall into mm-hmm. it. Lead us away. Pope Francis was like, not enough people are doing walk through <laughs> Bible yeah. verses. It's, let me tell you, uh, an easy way to think about it. Yes. Which is, do not let us fall into temptation. Yes. you you. I, I compared one of the walkthroughs as you're walking with blind, a blindfold on. Mm-hmm. And when it says, lead us not into temptation. You're saying you're walking on your own and right. you are, you're, you don't want to fall into temptation. And so it's saying, guide me away. Yeah, like what you said. Like it's, so I'm walking blindfolded and, and um, I'm like, hey, I'm walking blindfolded. Can you come outside for a second? And they're like, yeah, sure. And you're behind me. I'm like, hey, make sure or, or lead me not into that tree right there. Right. And it's like, it's not like you were never going to guide me into that tree. Right. You were going to be like, oh, okay, you're getting close to that tree. It's right. like I'm asking you any obstacle. Leave me away from it. Right. But I do like the tr- the change up on this. I do. And also, um, to Pope Francis's credit, I like that um, we're choosing to use the word fall because a lot of times when we talk about ourselves, we say, I gave into temptation. Mm. I I chose temptation. And I, I like this word because you fall into temptation. You, yeah. you know, yeah. you don't. You don't um, pick it and it doesn't, it, follow yeah, it yeah. and, you know, hold the handrail and go into it. <clears throat> yeah. So I I like that. Yeah. I mean, you even saw that with, um, I know this is always a depressing story when I bring it up, but um, with, uh, oh, wait, why can't I remember the name? Maybe I'm not meant to say it. I don't know. Um, Who portrayed Jesus? Lucas, I don't know. Now I can't think of it. Maybe we're not meant Midas. To... Midas. <laughs> Judas. <No>. Judas. <laughs> um, I think Judas is a is a prime example of that. He yes. felt like, and that's when afterwards he felt so bad it, it when he crawled the, out. The, yeah, the devil left his yeah. body, but it was like totally he fell into yeah. his temptation, right? Um, and that's why the after effects happened. It's because, um, okay. This is a finally, but deliver us from evil hmm. or the evil one. Deliver us. So again. Do you have any other translations? I or have, always deliver us. I have evil? Luke and Matthew both saying deliver us. Deliver us from uh, evil. Lead us. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, it's just. Lead um, us from evil. New, interva- New International said mm-hmm. lead us not. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was not. reading the. <laughs> Too many papers that say the same thing. Um, deliver us. Now, uh, you're like. What was it like when people used a compass? Um, same thing. I can see young people saying, what does deliver us mean? Deliver, you know, DoorDash is delivering food, but you're delivering us from evil. I think it's written not in a modern way mm, Pope at Francis all. Francis needs to change that one too. <laughs> um, or just teach people. I think people know from context clues, you know, what it yeah. means. Um, Bring us away from evil. Yeah, thank Got you. Yeah. <laughs> like um take us away yeah Yeah. i guess there's a it's hard to think of another word so they kept it with deliver us (laughs) it's definitely old language though yes deliver us from evil like we we are a pizza and we got to a a scary person's house and that's an evil house and they're not going to pay a tip and so it's like (laughs) quick deliver us away from this house (laughs) (laughs) yeah we deliver um we deliver we deliver what is that from Express mail from your post office has a whole fleet of 727. We deliver, we deliver. First time I heard it. But yeah, so deliver us from evil. Deliver us from the evil one. The devil. The so, dirty, stinking devil. And what it's saying is Jesus is the person who spoke these words. Jesus is the person who said um, this is the best way. They asked him, what's the best what's way the to best pray? Way? You always ask an expert 
if you you know if it was a floor guy you'd be like what's the best floor mm-hmm. if it was you know uh, a surfer what's the best surfboard they asked jesus what's the best prayer they said this now for him to say deliver us from evil or deliver us from the evil one he was admitting that there's evil he's admitting that the devil's coming and you better be ready armor of god right and fight that devil. And so, you know, people say like, oh, well, if there's God, why is there evil? And, and so on and so forth. Well, God himself um, said evil is on earth. It will not be in the wonderful kingdom of heaven um, when his will is done. But in the meantime, you know, help us out. Don't let us fall into temptation. Yes. And um, if we do fall into temptation and become ensnared by the devil, uh, help us out. Deliver us away from it. Yeah. Yes, so that is the Our Father. Um, obviously a Good great job, prayer. I think you hit the nail on the head when you said you're asking a uh, um, a mechanic what's the best type of tires. I don't know. It's the prayer is not from it's not even from Paul or yeah. Peter or or anybody who said this is what Jesus would have liked. It's what Jesus said is the prayer. So obviously. There's a reason it's the number one prayer. Um, and yeah, I mean, just sometimes I, I would say, if you do say it, slow it down. Yeah. Slow it down and go line by line and, and, and be a little more thoughtful with it. It's great as a mantra, but every every line is actually important. Um, so I think it should be in everyone's Bible repertoire. Yes. But is that all? Yes. Well, that's it for walk through Thursday, guys. It was a good one. Obviously, best prayer to do on a walk through Thursday. Yeah. But yeah, um, if it's nice where you're at, go get some sunlight, some vitamin D. I think it like boosts your serotonin or something. Yeah. Serotonin is a big word with the new crowd. Is it? This new Gen Z crowd. I think they all just learned it or something. Mm. And so it's all like, oh, this video finally gave him serotonin. I don't know. That's a story for another day. Until tomorrow... Fun Friday. Um, until Look on t- the playlist for our other walkthrough Thursdays. Yeah, yeah. If you're in a, bib- a Bible mood or if Thursday is not your Bible study time, mm-hmm. you're like, hey, I'm a, I'm a really orthodox person. Um, on Sunday, your Christian meme reviews are a little too cheerful. Oh, right. I want to learn something. I mean, you learn a lot on the Christian meme review. I take that back. But if you're like, I want to go through Bible verses. Yeah, you want to walk instead of chuckle. Yes. Then switch it, you know, go to the playlist, watch the meme reviews on Thursday and the walk through Thursdays on Sunday. Do what you got to do. Like, subscribe and share. See you tomorrow. Peace.